Michael here with DrawingTeachers.com. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to draw a 3D box. Let's start by drawing a square, rectangle, doesn't need to be exactly square. Now, what we're going to do is draw diagonals off of these corners. So, draw a line off of each of these corners, and then we're going to draw the back side of the box. Now, here's what's important. It's important that these lines are parallel to each other, meaning they, they go at the same angle, and that these lines are parallel to each other, and that these are parallel to each other. Because so if you get that wrong, your box looks distorted. Now we can come into this back corner and pull down. Now this is what we call an orthographic projection, because there's no perspective. These lines do not converge to a point on the horizon and we will draw a one-point perspective box in another lesson but this is just a orthographic 3D box now let's talk about shading this box what we want to do is determine where the light is coming from and, and let's say there's a there's a light bulb over here and the light is coming this way so that's going to mean that this inside part of the box is going to be darker than this part right here. But this edge will also cast a shadow on this side of the box. So let's go ahead and darken that up a bit. And then we've got our shadow right there. And then this side of the box, depending on whether this light is a little more in front or behind, it's going to get some shading. And this back, this side away from the light, I call it the back side, but it's just mean the side away from the light is going to be darker than this side. Now this side will be the darkest because it's really getting obstructed by the light and not as much light is getting down into the box. This side can be a little lighter. Uh, what we want to do now is in order to help place the box on the ground, let's talk about some other kinds of shading and that is uh, a little bit of shading right here along the bottom edge and on the ground, which isn't so much a shadow but it's just where the light gets trapped down there and we call that ambient occlusion and that's uh, light getting trapped in corners and if you look up in the corners of the room of your house you'll see that. So now let's talk about the shadow. Well, this box is going to cast a shadow and depending on where the light actually is that'll help you determine the shadow we're going to fake this a little bit and we're just going to draw a straight out shadow like this but really the angle of the light will determine how long this shadow is and then remember with the ambient occlusion it's going to be a little darker right there where the box touches the floor. So there you have a 3D pencil box.